but you don't have yours yet. No, I don't. Oh, Uncle Tenderheart! I need to talk to you! Over here! Hmm, just activating the care and share charms. One charm, one wish. <laughs> Some kid will be very happy to have one of these. I wish I could do that. <sighs> Uncle Tenderheart, why doesn't my belly badge work? Why do other bears, bears who are younger than me, by the way, have belly badges that work? What's wrong with mine? Oh, Wonder, there's nothing wrong with yours. Every bear is different, and you just need to have patience. But what if I don't have any patience? Because I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> I know you do. You'll get your powers. You just have to wait. Ugh! But I'm the waitingest bear ever. There's got to be some bears around here who know how to get my belly badge working, and I'm going to find them. <laughs> For the pyrotechnics. With a twist. <laughs> Ooh, well done, bears. I see a belly badge bounce trophy in Bear Power's future. <laughs> you wish. Yeah, good luck with that. Because luck's the only way you're going to win that trophy. Not this year, Barrelots. We've got this competition in the bag. <laughs> or should we say in the carry-all? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no? Whatever. Ow! For the love of Pete, that's my paw you're stepping on. Well, come on, just get my belly. You can stop elbowing my belly. You should just go away sometimes. Hope you're not afraid of a little friendly competition, because we're watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep watching. And keep moving. What was that all about? Uh, 
Well, it's just, at the last Belly Badge Bouts competition, we had what you might call some creative differences. With the bear lots? Uh, no, with each other. We argued so much we didn't bother to practice, and they won. But not this time. We've been practicing our routine for weeks, and we are ready to go. Woohoo! Go, 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 go! Practice makes perfect. Wait, speaking of belly badges, I have some questions about how they work. Does yours get hot when you use Whoa. it? Huh. What? Whoa! Whoa! Uh, that is so not right. Cool. I wonder if I'll be able to do that. Ooh! If I had my belly badge powers, I might be able to help. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. It would be so great if my belly badge could do everything. Clean fur, make my bed, remind me where I left Floppy Bunny. Looking good, Bear Power. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Not was so two tournaments ago. Was not? Yes, it was. Was not? Yeah, it was like forever ago. I smell creative differences. Ooh, oh. do belly badge powers smell? What's it really like to have powers? Do you ever wish you had different powers? Here's a thought, kid. Why don't you see if they could use some of your help in the cub bouts? Great idea! I'll be so helpful that they'll have to ask me to join! Yes, sirree bear! I'm gonna be the best cub outing cub in all of Carolot! Waiting for some bear? Our friend has bear chitis, and we can't compete unless we have another cub. Then this is your lucky day! Really now? Yes, because I'm here to help! Great! I can use all the help I can get. I can sing, me, 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 or dance. Ba, 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 da, da, ba, 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 da. Or get snacks? I'm really hungry. And I could use something to drink. But what about a third cub? Don't you need somewhere else to be on your team? Huh? that's sweet. But like we said earlier, you can't be in the cub bouts until your belly badge powers are working. Who, um, who says my belly badge powers aren't working? Uh, every bear? <laughs> that's old news. I'm here to give you an exclusive on the new news. Uh, just give me a minute. We kind of need to do this today. Right, uh, yeah, then today it is. Mm. Is there more? You meant to frazzle my finest? It was funny, right? I, I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> can you do it again? No! Of course I can do it again. Even better. I just need to, uh, just uh, rest a little bit. Ugh. Woo, so tired. Uh, let me catch some uh, Z's. Then my powers will be good as new. <laughs> Uncle Tenderheart? Uh, I wish I knew where Uncle Tenderheart was. I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> I just made that wish, and it came true. <gasps> Woohoo! Who needs belly badge powers when I've got Karen chair charms? I can wish for anything I want. Is that you, Wonderheart? Cubouts, here I come. <laughs> I wish I had lights. Lights and more lights coming out of my belly. You are kidding. You did need 
to rest. Told ya. Now, was there something you wanted to ask me? Will you be on our team? Please. Well, if you insist. Ta-da! Uh, ta-da! Back at ya. No, I mean it for real. Ta-da! Uh, what are we to dine about, kid? You are looking at the newest member of the Cup Outs! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! Care hug! Great job, Wonderheart! Uh, yeah, I don't mean to be, um, you know, indelicate or anything, but how'd you do that? It just happened! Amazing! Oh, that's the stuff! Better watch out. You've got some competition with this little bear. Yeah, not that it takes a lot to be on the winning side of your team. <laughs> yeah, uh, what she said. Why what she said? Can't you say your own thing? But you said what I was going to say. Actually, what she said makes no sense. It should be that it doesn't take much to be on the losing side of their team. Oh, really? Is that how it goes? Uh, good luck figuring this out. Whatever. What we're saying is, we hope you aren't bickering too much to practice. You wouldn't want to make it too easy for us this time. Yeah, what she said. Who oh, forgot to schedule uh, Bears are starting to get on my nerves. Me too. You know, kid, those are some belly badge powers you got there. <laughs> Thanks. Charms, are you ready to make every bear wish I was on their team? <sighs> That's right. I said it. Every bear. Every bear is going to be looking at me. <sighs> <sighs> Whew. I really wish I could relax. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. How did you do it? You're amazing. Now that's my kind of belly badge. One that's good for napping. So, uh, what's your secret? I don't have any secrets. Eh. Flaunt it if you've got it, Diva. Well, you know, I just knew when my powers came in, they'd be big. Bigger than big? You're super shining, little wonder. I mean, big wonder. Do you really think so? Mm-hmm. Every bear's saying it's no wonder your tender heart's neat. They are? Just look! Wonder Heart! Wonder Heart! Wonder Heart. Wonder Show us what else you can do! Wonder Heart! 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 Can you fly too? Like a speedy swallow! <gasps> With a Wonder Heart spin! <laughs> Did we mention that she's on our team? <laughs> We've got this competition in the back. Can you run faster than a speeding rainbow train? Only if you ask. You could just give us a trophy now and save yourselves a little time. Is there anything else my belly badge and I can do for you? Ooh. Well, I have always wanted my stage to be just a few inches to the right. Hmm? The light's better. And I so love good light. So, Wonderheart, can you use some of your awesome belly powers to help a bear out? Uh... Oh, I wish Tenderheart was here to see this. Um, since he's not, I'll just take care of that little stage problem for you. Team Bear Power just like us. And why would she go to Bear Power when she could be on the winning team, the Bear Lots? <laughs> As if you're gonna win. Uh, whose place will she take? Maybe the weakest link. <gasps> hey! Don't you go touching my bear! She can be a Bear Lot if she wants to. No, she can't. You are the bear. I mean, I wish every bear would just be quiet and stop talking. Oh no! 
I wish every bear was back to normal. No! I mean, yes! Oh! Oh! Yes, I'm back. And I still sound good. We're first up in the competition. You ready? But do we need to go over our routine? Nah, with powers like yours, anything you do is going to make our routine more awesome. I hope so. Welcome to today's Belly Badge Bout. <laughs> oh no, I only have one wish left. And up first, the very special Cub Bouts team of Hugs, Tugs, and Wonderhar. I need to make this last wish count. I wish my Belly Badge powers will blow this audience away. Mistakes. Just never do it again. <laughs> Got it? Oh, yeah. Care help for being honest. And when your belly badge powers do come in, there's still a spot for you on our team. Phew. Oh, I'm pooped. Kind of wishing I had a Karen share charm right about now. Don't look at me. I learned my lesson. From now on, I'll be honest about who I am. A bear without her belly badge powers. <laughs> Not yet. Guess it's a good thing that I have lots of patience. <laughs> yes, Wonderheart, good thing. Uh, should we just came over to wish you a little bit of luck. You did? Really? <laughs> yeah, because you're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys spent so much time telling us how much better you are, I don't know when you could have found time to practice. Who forgot to schedule practice time? Hey, I scheduled Raz the other team time. Oh, I so wish I was on a different team. Who forgot to schedule? 
<laughs> we need more practice. Creative differences. Senses are telling me something's wrong, kid. I hate waiting for my belly badge to work. I want to know what it does. Well, totally valid, Grump. But every bear has to wait for their badge to start working to learn what it does. Well, when you were a cub, you knew you'd make rain clouds one day, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had my suspicions. And Funch, I knew he'd make sun. And Cheer knew she'd make rainbows. But I have this crummy old heart. It can mean anything. Uh, well, part of the fun of life is there's always more to discover uh, about yourself. Uh, maybe Tenderheart can help. <laughs> Bet he had no clue what his did when he was a cub either. Uncle Tenderheart, I need your help. It's urgent. Urgent? Uh, what is it? Yeah, the kid's bummed that her belly badge hasn't powered up yet. Sang a whole song about it. Even a fantasy sequence and everything. I've been waiting forever to do it. Is there anything you can do to help me? Hmm. Well, most bears' belly badge powers come naturally. Uh, but it is true that some bears only get theirs with a bit of training. Really? Like who? Uh, well, that's between them and their belly badge trainer. Uncle Tenderheart, can you train me? Please, please, please? Okay, Wonderheart. You never let me... You will? I think you're old enough now. But we can start today, if you like. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Now, I warn you, we may not discover your full powers for a bit. First, we have to get your beacon to light up. My belly badge beacon. That would be the most wonderful of wonderful! But even that will be hard work. It won't be like in that old tale about the mystical melon. Mystical melon? Oh, yeah, I love that story. Old Gramsbury used to tell it before she retired out in the mountains. Can get away from all the hubbub and clamoring going around around here. Huh? <laughs> what? It's exactly how she talks. There once was a cub whose belly badge didn't work yet. Like me. Exactly. So one day on a walk, he saw something odd. A huge melon. He called it a mystical melon because he'd never seen anything so, uh, mystical. Ooh, mystical. Yeah, now pipe down, let me finish. So this cub was hungry. So he took it home to make melon smash stew. Oh. Ooh. So much for the rest of my lunch. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, the cub ate the stew, and just like that, his belly badge beacon lit right up. Whoa! I want to do that. It sounds way easier than Uncle Tenderheart's hard work way. <laughs> it's just an old bear's tale, Wonderheart. It didn't really happen. So we have to do it the hard way? Afraid so. Now, let's start with some stretching. Uh, yeah. Uh, limbers up the old cardamino muscles. Uh, you try. 
sorry, we just look so silly. <laughs> now, roll on your belly. Ah, and stretch out like so. <laughs> I can't help it. You look ridiculous. <laughs> and, oh, I think I pulled my rain cloud. You sure this will help me, Uncle Tenderheart? It seems goofy. There is nothing goofy about belly dancing. Yeah, but why do you have to wear the skirt? Yeah, why? It is part of the ritual of training your concentration and strength. Now, let us begin. As I said, focusing your caring is the key to activating your badge. Now this will test how attuned you are to the world around you. All right, kid. Tenderheart's gonna beam some hearts at you. You just gotta try and dodge them. No problem. I have the lightning reflexes of a ninja bear! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'll be wearing this. Hey, even ninja bears need to see. Try to feel them with your heart. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> hey, those tickle. <laughs> Focus, Wonder. What do you feel? <laughs> Ticklish. <laughs> oh, Wonder Heart, I wish you'd take this more seriously. I am being serious. Maybe we should just skip ahead to the good stuff. Like actually trying to use my power. Mm. Wonder Hearts, no! Careful! Did you see that? It lit up! Your boring training's working! It is important, young cub, that you do not push your badge till you're ready. You could damage the progress you've made. But I feel ready now! Haven't I already done enough waiting and wondering? Huh? Uh, well, that can't be good. Oh my! It's a stardust storm! And it's headed right for Carolot! Cool! Yeah, don't let that friendly Stardust name fool you. It's dangerous. It can crash down at you from above and make you very, very dusty. <gasps> I must warn every bear so we can form a plan. What about my belly badge training? Sorry, it'll have to wait. But... Hear that, Floppy Bunny? They think I'm less important than dust. Bear! We have to use our powers to protect everything and every bear in Carolot. If we work together, we can bust this dust! Yeah, and once you're done, every bear meet at my cottage. I just had my roof dust-proofed. Sounds like a plan. Now let's rock this. I'm sorry, you're just not ready. Like I told you, you can help by finishing that list of every bear in Carolot so we can do a paw count. This is more of a job for, like, boring heart bear. I am ready to help with my belly badge, Floppy Bunny. I did all that training. I just have to show every bear what I can do. Come on, Belly, you can do this. Yes, it's working. Just a bit more. I can't believe it. My wondering about my power is finally going to be over. This is great. Ah, this is great. Ah. Ah. I'm okay. I'm okay. Maybe I'm not okay. My belly bag. Tenderheart was right! I wasn't ready! It's really starting to dust storm, huh, Floppy Bunny? <gasps> Floppy Bunny! You'll have to do, Mossy Bunny. You don't know the way home, do you? Ooh, a shadowy figure! They're never good news! <laughs> Every bear, we got 
every last thing done, and nothing slipped through the cracks. And every last bear made it here safely. See, Wonderheart? Making this list was important. Three cheers for Wonderheart! List maker supreme? Uh, Wonderheart? Wonderheart! Ah! Easy there, kiddo. You might want to close that mouth of yours for a sparkle sparrow flies in mistaking your tongue for its dinner. Name's Grams Bear, but you can call me Grams. What you go by, little nugget? Grams Bear. Really? Why, that's my name, too. Fancy that. No, I mean, I've heard of you. I'm Wonderheart. Wonderheart, huh? Well, I'm wondering what's with that heart. Um, I kind of burned it out trying to use it. Oh, silly cub. You can't burn your badge out. It's just, uh, well, it's a little off. Here you go. Wow. Thanks, Grams. Sure thing. So your belly being a real pain in the gut, so to speak. I just wish it'd work already. I'm dying to know my special power. Uh-huh. You got a case of the what's it do's. A big case. My Uncle Tenderheart was trying to help me with it, but we're not really seeing eye to eye. <laughs> well, you are a mite shorter than him. Plus, that tender heart can be a bit much. I'll tell you what, Whipper Will. I'll help you with your badge. <gasps> really? Sure, sugar. But first, let's get out of this here dusty star storm. Now, will you help me with my badge? Whew. You're more wound up than a mouse on Cat Island. You remind me of another bear when he was your age. Who? Never you mind. Let's do it to it. You're not gonna make me do goofy stretches and belly dancing, are you? Hardly. Now let's start your real belly badge training. Whoa! <laughs> uh. I got something in my carry-all that can help. Let's see. Muffin? No. Stuffin'? No. Oh, oh, I know. I'll use my belly badge beacon. She'll see it and run to safety. Can't go through the stardust, huh, Cheer? Luckily, as the resident shining expert, I have a stronger one. Huh? I'm sure I can get through. I'll show you how it's done. Guys! This isn't about whose beacon is best. It's about Wonder Heart. Besides, y'all know you got nothing on mine. Well, I am trying my belly bear. bear. Stop! I know we're all on edge, but calm down. Hmm, I think I know which way she went. Well, let's hurry. Who knows what terrible things Wonder's facing? Mmm, these are the best crackers, Grams. Thanks. Guess what I call them? Grams crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> you made real progress this afternoon, little bit. You'll be sprouting your beacon before you even know it. I can't wait. Soon every bear will finally see what I can do. Well, remember, belly powers aren't about you, Dumplin'. They're for helping others. You gotta focus your caring. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uncle Tenderheart told me. So can we train some more? Oh, later, honey. It's time for my after snack now. My eyelids feel heavier than two hippos after feeding time. But I'm really getting somewhere. I don't want to stop now. Ugh. I wish that story about the mystical melon was true. I could just eat it and be done. <laughs> mystical melon? Why, of course. They're real. And they might be just what we need to push you over the edge. But Uncle Tenderheart said... Tenderheart? Bah. Bear means well, but what he doesn't know could fill a broom closet. I've eaten the things myself. Tastes like heaven, they do. Goopy, gloopy heaven. Really? 
Darn tootin'. In fact, there's a patch of them just down the path. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Your brain scrambled like an egg on Sunday morning. There's a storming out there. We best wait till it lets up. Now I've got some wings to catch. But Grams... Grams! Grams! It's just on the path. We'll be fine. Right, Mossy Putty? wouldn't get through this freaky fruit. But the storm's getting worse. We gotta do something. If only I could use my beacon. I wish it worked. Oh, Grams, this is all my fault. If I hadn't run out here, you wouldn't be trapped. I was so wrapped up in thinking about my belly badge, I didn't think about any bear else. This whole time, I've just wanted every bear to see what I can do. I wasn't caring. I was selfish. But if my beacon works, I really could help you. Whoa! Congratulations, Wonder. That's a fine beacon you got streaking. I can't believe it! It worked! Because you wanted it to for me, not for you. You finally focused your caring. Way to care, Bear. Wonderheart! Oh, you're okay. We were just down the way and saw your beacon. Your oh, thanks to Grams. Uh, how'd you do, folks? Care for some mystical melon? It's on me. <laughs> That's a mystical melon? So they are real. Yeah. Now quick, help me roll it off her. Oh, I don't want to be a bother. If I can give this fruit the boot myself. <laughs> oh, uh, Grams, did you? Uh, perhaps. Um, kind of clueless over here. Let me guess. Grams told you the melon was nearby. Then she took a nap. You went to look for it, but when you found it, Grams came and it trapped her. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. How do you know? Because I pulled the same daggum trick on Tendy Heart when he was a cub, too. She set it all up. She only acted like she was trapped. All to make you focus your caring on her so you'd learn to activate your beacon. Grams? I was really worried about you. Aw, oh, now, don't be a sour drop in the candy dish. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> ah, 
so the mystical melon's real, but the story of it being magic is just an old bear's tale. Of course it is. I'm the old bear who made it up. But wasn't it dangerous to make Wonder run out into the storm like that? No. Grams trained me for everything I faced. How are you able to push that giant melon off you, Grams? Please. I may be old, Funshine, but I am a bear. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, what are you doing, Wonderheart? Um, just testing out my belly badge beacon. To see how fast the other bears come running to help you? Again? Well, what's the point of having a beacon if you can't ever use it? Well, you can, but only for emergencies. And since every bear is busy cleaning up all this stardust, they don't have time for your false alarms. Okay, Uncle Tenderheart. Sorry. Okay, well, better get to work. This stardust won't clean itself up. That's how a star tackles stardust. Rainbow ready when you are. Go Rainbow! Go Rainbow! Go, go, go Rainbow! Mmm, <laughs> Stardust. What was I thinking? I can't eat my way to cleanliness. <laughs> Choo! Choo! Take that, Stardust! Choo! Whoa, Grumpy's belly badge beacon. Help us on the way, buddy. <laughs> oh, Grumpy Oni, not cool. You're only supposed to send that beacon in the sky if you're in trouble. Not when you're making stardust angels, which, while awesome, are not an emergency. I'm not making stardust angels. And how many times do I have to tell you, stop calling me Grumpy Oni? Whoa, my bad, Grumpy O. Ah, uh, I mean, Grumpy, just plain Grumpy. Well, will you help me? Did you try eating through the stardust? Again? Yeah. <laughs> now my belly's feeling a little bloated from all that dust. Uh, now will you do a bear a favor? Happy to share my shine. <laughs> Thanks. No prob, grumpily doodah. Ooh, sorry, my bad. Little cub, what am I going to do about this? Got it. Wonderheart! <laughs> Hello! Here, a little help. Please. Somebody. Oh no! She needs help! Wonderheart! Get in. Don't worry, Wonderheart. Just sit tight. Just sit tight. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. One minute. Not bad, not bad. You bears are getting faster. Again. You scared the grump out of me. Seriously? Calm down, every bear. Wonder hard, we're glad you're okay. Of course I'm okay. I was just doing another test. But we thought you used your beacon because something bad happened to you. After the tenth time, you'd think we'd learn. Wonder, we really thought you needed help. I needed help figuring out how long it would take a bear to respond to a belly badge beacon. This is serious business, Bambino. Oh, no. Not the silent treatment. Really? Was it that bad? We're glad you're okay, but we were worried about you. You have to use your beacon responsibly. Responsibly? How am I gonna do that? I can't even say it! Why 
What should we do? How do we explain? It's Responsibility! Got to help wonder. Hey, Bears. Maybe Isabella can help you. Really? Do you know about re responsibility? I mean, responsibility? I sure do. Because <sighs> I know I don't have any. <gasps> huh? You can't do what? what you trying to pull there, Bear? <laughs> My parents think I'm the least responsible kid ever. What do you mean? Well, let's see. I'm always losing my lunch money. I hate cleaning my room. I always forget to bring my homework to school, which actually isn't that irresponsible, considering I never remember to actually do my homework. And I never remember to take a bath. <laughs> and they thought I was bad. So let me get this straight. You brought the least responsible kid to Carolot? Did it ever cross your mind to maybe bring the most responsible kid instead? I had a feeling this might work better. A feeling? So you feel that this irresponsible kid is gonna help that irresponsible cub? Well, I have a feeling she will. That's right, every bear! Let's root for the underdog! Uh, or maybe it's not time to root for the underdog? Hey, I may be irresponsible, but I'm not hard of hearing! Look, I know. So I'm a flake, but I am ready to change. And this is why. Aww. Uh -huh. Is that your puppy? Not yet, but it will be when I can prove to my parents that I can be responsible. That's why I'm here. So do you think you can help me? And as you can see, we still have lots of stardust piles to clean up due to our recent storm. There's Moody Mountains, the Forest of Feelings, uh, Cheers Garden, the Gloomy Glen. Oh, I am so not cleaning up in there. That glen is so gloomy. Uh, yes, uh, but with every bear working together again today, I'm sure we can clear up all of it. This is gonna call for some major energy. Flaky, sticky, and shaky. Now that's a protein shake. Blah! Today is a perfect opportunity to teach Isabella and Wonderheart about responsibility. So, who's ready for the challenge? All right then, let's uh, get to work. Girls, I am so excited to give you this wonderful opportunity. I'm giving you these. All you have to do is bag up all of this stardust. Whoa! That's a lot of dust. But we can do it. This feels just like a big fluffy pillow. You're right. The squishiest, pillowiest pillow. And you know what that means. Pillow fight! Stardust handspring. Stardust Super Splits! Woo! Hey, Cheer, you ready for a Stardust snack? Absolutely. And I bet the girls have worked up an appetite, too, with all their hard work. <laughs> Whoa! Sounds like those girls have put the fun in responsibility. Cher, there's no fun in responsibility. Sure there is. Fun, responsibility, uh, responsibility, fun, no, uh, riff, ah, forget it. <laughs> oh, girls, girls, girls! We're, we're sorry. We, we, uh, forgot what we were supposed to be doing. I wonder if we're in big trouble. Oh, now it's my turn to give you ladies some sound advice. Hmm. Well, here it is. Don't mess this up. I need all these bags moved off the stage. All of them? Now? Excuse me, but are you the girls that want to prove they're responsible? Yes. Then all of them. We won't let you down, Harmony. Oh, please let that be true. Let's pick this up together. That wasn't too hard. Only like a gazillion more.
see that things got a bit out of hand. They made a terrible mess. Yeah, and now we have to start cleaning all over again. And they ate my sandwich. What? A bear's got a right to be angry about a half-eaten sandwich. Tenderoni, it was really, really uncool. I don't even have a melody to express my feelings right now. It's all coming out sharp and flat. It sounds as though the two of you have failed to show any sort of responsibility. But we, we tried. And we'll try harder. We promise. Yes, Uncle Tenderheart. We'll try harder next time. Well, there won't be a next time. What? I don't understand. Uh oh that bear's about to blow. Isabella, Wonderheart, you are taking a time out in the lighthouse. <gasps> Up. Well, I didn't make it any easier for you. I wish there was something we could do. I feel bad. Uh, how is that any different than how you usually feel? I mean, really bad. Yeah, I feel like a banana. All bruised up and tossed around in an old lunch bag, all alone. Left to rot and get all squishy and slimy and... Uh, your point? What point? I thought we were sharing emotions. Oh, wait, no, there was a point. The point is, no matter how we feel, those girls made their own choices. And now they gotta face the consequences. Whoa! Harsh words from the sunny bear of the group. I'm just saying. Besides, now we'll clean up way faster. Look! We can't just stay here. We have to prove to every bear that we can be responsible. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Maybe clean the stardust. But every bear's already cleaning up everywhere. Everywhere? But what about places they don't want to go to? Well, there's the gloomy glen. No bear likes to go there. And definitely not to clean stardust. <gasps> Then that's where we'll go. We'll clean it up spick and span and redeem ourselves. Hmm. But how do we get out? Uncle Tenderheart's off to pick his favorite bumbleberries in secret. He won't be back for a while. No time to waste. Let's go. Just remember, the only way to handle the gloomy glen is with happy thoughts. Got it. Let's start here. And quick. Happy thoughts. Oh, happy thoughts. Hair hugs, rainbows, floppy bunny, cute puppy, cute puppy, cute puppy. I hope Tenderheart wasn't too harsh on Isabella and Wonderheart. Well, I know they're supposed to be thinking about what they did, but I bet they're just bored out of their minds. Yeah, they're probably screaming to get out. <laughs> It's just too scary. All the more reason 
to work faster. Hey, it's blowing away. We'll be finished in no time. Good, and this is my last bag. Is it okay? Oh, don't touch it! It hurts! I think it's sprained! You gotta go get help! I can't leave you! It's getting dark and the wind is picking up! My belly badge beacon! Oh, but I'm not supposed to use it unless it's an emergency. Uh, hello? I think this qualifies as an emergency! But that's not anywhere near the lighthouse. Oh, Isabella and Wonderheart probably snuck out. You know, when Tenderheart goes out to pick his secret bumbleberries? I don't know why he doesn't think we know that he does that. Yeah, you're probably right. She's just messing with us again. Come on, let's finish up here. I've got hot tea waiting. Sure, they'll be here any minute. Hey, what's Wonderheart doing all the way over there? Uh, probably just goofing off with Isabella, showing off how she tests us. Hmm, maybe. But you better go talk to Tenderheart just in case. Fine with me. I'm beat. <laughs> like a lonely banana? Nah, like a lonely egg. Uh, come on. You can try to walk on it. Ah, I I can't. It it just hurts too much. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <gasps> Don't worry, Wonderheart. I'm gonna get us out of here. We're not going to wait for help. We are going to be responsible for ourselves. Bears, calm down, calm down. Now, let's not get worried. We'll uh, divide ourselves up throughout Carolot. I'm worried sick. You're worried sick? How about me? I can't even eat. Wow, you really are worried sick. What if something happened to them? Now look, we know Wonderheart sent out her belly badge beacon, so she is somewhere, probably with Isabella. Uh, why don't we head out in that direction first? I it came from over there. Look, look, look! It's them! It's them! It's them! <gasps> hey! Oh, yeah! Right. yeah. Just so glad you two are all right. Thanks to Isabella. Now, you both realize that you should not have left the lighthouse. We know. It was very irresponsible. Yes, very. But what was responsible was choosing to clean up the gloomy glen and following through with it. And when things went wrong, you took responsibility to get Wonder Heart home safe. These were great first steps to being responsible. And when I get home, I'm gonna show my parents that I can be responsible all the time. Oh, yeah! I still feel super bummed that we didn't help you when you sent out your beacon, little wonder. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm the most sorry. I feel awful. But it was my fault for misusing it in the first place. And now I understand. Really, I do. But we're glad you're safe. We were worried sick. And I couldn't even eat. Wow, Grumpy, you really were worried sick. Oh, but, but I'm fine now. BBH, anyone? <laughs>